Good morning. Today is February 17th, and we are looking at Luke 13, 18 and 19. And I will read that for us. It says, Then Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? How can I illustrate it? It is like a mustard seed that is planted in a garden. It grows and becomes a tree, and the birds make nests in its branches. So I was thinking a little bit about this, and I think it's interesting because um, just two sections ago, he was talking about the fig tree that needed to be chopped down because it wasn't producing fruit. So I, I'm thinking here that, but so he, the fig tree being the religious leaders and the Jewish people who um, aren't really having any relationship with God, really even knowing him at all, um, and that that's what is needing to be chopped down. And then the next section, he talks about the Sabbath, and um, he makes this contrast between the way he approaches the Sabbath, where he heals the woman, and the way that the um, leader in charge of the synagogue approached it, which was basically, she can't be healed on the Sabbath. If you guys want to be healed, come back on another day, not the Sabbath. We don't do healing on the Sabbath. And Jesus said, basically, in my opinion, he said, basically, you care more about your ox and your donkey than you do about this dear woman of God. And um, so, so we have the contrast there. And then Jesus talks about the kingdom of God being like a mustard seed, which I understand and I've seen one is really super tiny like a you know, the size of a poppy seed or something, um, and how it grows into, and I guess the mustard tree is really a big, large tree. So I'm thinking he's saying that the mustard seed is like um, Jesus, the beginning of the new kingdom, and how his kingdom is going to grow enormous. And it's not going to be like the fig tree that doesn't produce fruit and is um, not helpful to people. It's going to be a place where birds can come and make nests and so a place of nurture and protection and nourishment and care um, and home and comfort um, and so that contrast is kind of um, beautiful there and when I think about this being the Jesus inside of me I think about um, I just get this really warm peaceful cool feeling or um, essence about being a part of something like that versus being a part of the way that the religious leaders were dealing with the healing on the Sabbath and that I want to be a part of that. In fact, um, the conviction that it makes me think about is um, I sometimes wondered if God is wanting me to bring spiritual practices to underprivileged people and I don't know how that would happen. Or where and I don't I've I just don't really have any um, experience in that demographic of people or life um, so I guess I just am trusting that if God wants that for me and for my life that he will take care of that and he'll make that happen so God I just pray that you will help me be responsive to you and to whatever steps you want me to take to help be a part of the tree of your kingdom that takes care of everyone and that loves everyone and provides a place of protection and nurturing. I love you, Jesus.